So I, I, clearly a huge value comes from the community of folks who are working there. Um, I understand you also bring in a lot of mentors and coaches. Maybe you can talk a little bit about uh, what sort of people are involved in helping and what they get out of it. You know? Yeah, absolutely. So, so there's kind of four things that we provide. One is community, which these guys have talked a lot about. Um, two is mentorship, and we have a bunch of different mentorship structures from serial entrepreneurs who are lead mentors to an advisory board. Um, for instance, on the medical advisory board of a company, they'll have a doctor and a CFO of a hospital, to experts, hundreds of experts, I think we have around 500, that can come in and get on phone calls, do office hours, that sort of thing. Um, but I, I'd actually pass it over to these guys. They're all mentored, and in fact, we bring our alums back to mentor the other founders. So maybe you can talk about um, what, what you get out of it and what your mentors get out of it. Sure. Um, yeah, we, so there are plenty of people who offered great, great help to us. Um, I'll just pick out a couple. Um, Jay Bornstein was our lead mentor when we were through the program. Um, you know, he's a, he's a professor here. Um, he was a grad student in computer science, just like we were. He started his company sort of not, not really knowing what to do, just like we did. And, you know, what was really interesting, I think, was that Stardex is able to pair you I'm not, I think it's because they have 0% equity, it's sort of, they don't have an incentive, they're not purchasing mentorship, right? You, when you find that mentor, which, who's exactly was you in your footsteps several years ago and built a successful company, it's, it's a perfect match. You both want to, I, you want to get help from them, they want to help you. Um, and I think when you sort of open it up, you have a 0% equity, you have this, this really interesting dynamic, you get, you get super tailored help and we couldn't have done anything we did without Jay Bornstein's impact and he was he's always been incredible. Yeah, and, and you you've sold your company now and so but you come back and help out other startups founders. Why I do think, you do it? Yeah, a lot of companies will come back and help and I think it's just so tremendous. Even while we were running Wi Fi Slam, um, the minute it was possible or the, as soon as I had tried sort of this mentoring other companies going through the program, I realized I had way more to gain from me like you know, sharing what I'd learned and the lessons I'd learned with them, then perhaps even they have to gain from these lessons themselves. Talk about that. Um, Why? Yeah. So, so I'll give you a couple examples. First of all, um, it's really hard to be objective with your own company when it's your baby, when it's something you're working on. You want to get perfect, and you're, you're every hour of the day you're trying to you know while you sleep you're trying to figure things out, and sometimes you just can't think clearly about it. But when you're sitting there and it's another company, maybe they're not in your domain, maybe they're not. Um, they don't have the same background as you, and you're looking at it, and you're like, but that, that doesn't make sense. Why would a startup, why would you want to do that? And then you walk out of that meeting, and you realize, why, do I, why am I doing what I'm doing? This doesn't make any sense, right? Um, but you know, it goes much further than that. I think it's really inspiring. As Stardex continues to raise the bar for people they bring in, um, you know, you'll get to mentor teams that you know, learn lessons that they've learned while they're building their companies. You know, and it helps you too. It's sort of like two basketball stars sort of comparing notes at the All-Star game, right? You, you can't possibly learn everything on your own. And they, as part of the mentorship process, they have to report their progress to you. And sometimes they'll show up and they'll say, hey, we had this really interesting sales tactic. And we went in there and it worked great. And it's worked three times out of four. And you'll say, hey, you know, let me take notes. Like, this is really interesting. <laughs> um, and sometimes they'll just inspire you. Like sometimes you're, you know, starting a startup is like a, a roller coaster, as, as I'm sure you've heard a, a thousand times. And, and sometimes it just takes, you know, another team pushing as hard as they can to overcome adversity for you to say, all right, I'm going to strap in, I'm going to do it too. And so it just, I could go on forever, as always. Um, <laughs> what, about, what about Milt? You've mentored a lot of. Yeah, so, so, so I learned in life early on that uh, there's nothing free in life. And although they don't take equity, there, there is a, uh, there's a commitment. <laughs> and the commitment is you're, you're part of the code. And the code is you help out your fellow co-founders. And every, every founder is extremely busy. You, they work 18, 19 hours a day. We, we pull all-nighters there. I haven't pulled all-nighters since medical school. And here I was pulling all-nighter at Stardex one night. And it's just part of the code. Yet, at the same hand, when one of your founders next to you has a problem and it's something you can help out in, it's your obligation to stop what you're doing and help them. And it is a very interesting culture here because it, and it works. It works because that's what everyone expects of you when you go there. So they help you and you help them, and that's what makes the, 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 the system work. Right, so I had the pleasure of sitting on a board actually with Joseph, right? Yeah, so I remember, and, this, and these are also words of wisdom from Joseph, I will admit this. Um, so it was a company they were presenting, and they were getting reamed by all of us. And um, I felt terrible because, I mean, here's a founder. I mean, obviously, they're, 
they're very passionate about what they're doing, and we just disagree. And then a comment was made, and this has always stuck with me, it's like, you know, if you tell someone you want to build a rocket ship, no one's going to ask questions. If you tell someone you're going to paint the shed, suddenly everyone's going to be going on about what color. And so that's exactly what's happening. And then you kind of start thinking about, well, wait, I've been in this situation before. When, 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 I've, when, you know, when have I been painting the shed and no one pointed it out to me? So it's, it's, it's moments like that, you know, when you, when you feel like, okay, great, so I'm at the right place and this is, you know, I'm learning just as much as these guys are learning and I'm really glad to be part of this whole process. And I think Stardust is a, good, is a great job of kind of making that happen. Because they take into account, you know, how I've worked in the past, how the other mentors have worked in the past, how we're going to have rapport with the team. And, and having few teams and having alumni that are engaged kind of really makes it easy to make that happen. Um, so I really appreciated that part of it.